Well, we're back again on Mystery Lake. Barry Loop and I enjoy going to Mystery Lake about as much as anywhere we go. It's a clear mountain lake in the middle of nowhere, but it's full of big smallies. And by the way, it's a public lake, not private. This year, it's pre-spawn, and man, they've got the feed bag on. Barry and I have the right lures, and we're going to put a hurting on those big smallies. Tag along with us. I'm Nathan White, and welcome to 3B Outdoors. Hunting. Fishing. Hunting. Fishing. For 10 years. A decade. <laughs> This one out here might have a little more pull. What a beast of a small mouth. <laughs> Gotta throw a tight line. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're here in Ohio. Yes, sir. It all happened so fast. Boy, the big dog just put the smoke on a big old hole. See, I told you hunting carried us for 10 years. Anybody can sit in a tree stand, eat crackers long enough, and something will walk by you can shoot. Any two-year-old can use a floaty bobber. <laughs> Thank you for 10 awesome years. 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. Retreat, play, relax. My arm back, a little wind, a little overcast, March Madness. I'm ready to hit it. I feel big smallies in the air. Oh yeah, it's March, it's time. No big one. Shallow. Water temperature 49.1, it's March. Ain't no little one either though. Crushed. Oh, that's oh, a good. I don't guess. I'm gonna have got them hooks in there. Come on out of there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good way to start out. I'm telling you. I ain't nothing off that at all, boys. There. They got it good, but that's not a good place to stick your hand when they're thrashing. Good, good fish. Thank you, Lord. Whew, that's sweet. First fish today, we made about 15 casts. Just trying to figure out where they're at. The water temperature's 49. These fish are on the windblown banks in shallow water. So, see if we can keep on getting it on here. Amazing, right there. Beautiful. If you don't catch a fish, that right there makes it all worthwhile to see that sun pop through them clouds. Look at that, Barry. Golly, Ned. What have you got on, son? A missing fish swim bait toad. Look at that one, boys. Look at that one. That is a fish. Woo, baby. Get your wings there, boy. Oh, yeah. I love it, man. Mission fish, 20 pound line, big old smalls. What a deadly combination. When we first got in this morning, we caught four, three or four fish really quick on a lipless crankbait and uh, working pretty well. We figured, hey, it's gonna be on. It slowed down after that considerably, went about another 45 minutes, caught one on a jerk bait, and we have fished and fished and fished with nothing. And we pulled over a little spot where the wind's blowing up in it, and I uh, caught a nice one on a uh, jerk bait, and Nathan picked up the old uh, reliable mission fish, 316, threw it in there and banged a real nice one and caught several more. But we figured this afternoon the water temperature's coming up and that's gonna pick up quite a bit more. Son, what was 
was that? <laughs> I thought it was, listen, it freaked me out. I look back there and I'm thinking, what in the world? He's flying below radar, wasn't he? Missing fish strikes again, though. Yeah, that's the only thing we can get him to hit. And I tell you, people say that you can catch him on a lot of stuff. Some days, listen, we phone everything, and that missing fish is what those fish want to hit. That's all there is to it, and they'll hit it two or three times. We ain't found the monsters yet, but I'm gonna pull him up in there a minute. Two and a half, two and three quarter fish, but can't get him to bite nothing else but missing fish. I mean, that's it. Yeah, the ones that are hitting the missing fish, they're wanting it. We called it, didn't we? we called it, he said, I'm back over in the zone. Very nice cast. My line's still out there somewhere, Nathan, but. Swing him up your three pounders, we're swinging three pounders in the boat. <laughs> swinging three pounders in the boat. I thought it was a bigger one than that. They got the trailer hooked though. Yep. Let's get the mules. Sir, swim bait activity. How many times? I've, I've, I've had five, four hits already. There he is, that's a big one. Cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. Cool. 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 He didn't miss that, Nathan. <laughs> my lord, you talking about. Oh, look at this, Nathan. Oh, look at this. We found a school of monsters. We told you that we wanted to catch some big ones. Look here. Don't come out of there. Oh. <laughs> We look at that. Look at that, son. Cool. You talking about a smallmouth? Look at that thing. Look at that right there, Rick here. Thank you, Lord. Hold on just a second, but you ready? Loose. I'm gonna let you just let you do it on your own. This one out here might have a little more pull, Barty. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spot Hawk, the world's toughest archery products. Expo in Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia. Presented by 3B Outdoors, January 6th through the 8th at Meadowview Conference Resort and Convention Center in Kingsport. This is a nice one. Mercury engine tap. Speed and acceleration you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you.
Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Got that rod loaded up, son. He's going around the front. Gosh, that's a good, good, good one. We found him again, baby. Easy, easy, <laughs> easy. Easy, boy. Ooh. <laughs> we we found the spot again. The old Indian trick. That stinger's out. Had him one little hook. They're just not eating it for some reason. Man, that fat belly on that one right there. What a fight, baby. What a fight. Go ahead now, come on. There you go. Oh yeah. She didn't know she was unhooked. Mm. Miss some fish, baby. Better get you some, better get you some. Whew. One of them days, boys, one of them days. Oh, we got another big one on the dirt bait here, boys. Get him up here. Look at that. If he won't hit one thing, I'll hit something else. He wanted that jerk bait, didn't he? Look at the head on that thing. I'm telling you. Eat it. Boy, they're pretty. Healthy fish. Healthy fish. <laughs> Son, I believe they're in here because they're eating jerk baits and swim baits and probably anything else you can throw in there if you can get right in front of them because they are piled up right over there. I hadn't seen him yet. I'm taking my monster. time with him. He feels like he's a big one. That's a mon Oh my goodness. Let me get the net, me get the net on that. I'll get him. You gonna get him? I'll get him. That's a huge fish. That's not a five pounder, son. Have you ever seen anything be the day like today? That's a monster, too. Easy, easy, easy. That is another five and a half pound bass right there, folks. Folks, bringing it to you live, three B outdoors, son. Look at that. <clears throat> Would you say these fish are getting ready to do their thing? Mercy, what a toad! Whew. Talking about a beautiful fish. Look at that thing in the sun. <laughs> yes, baby. What a bass. Big gorilla. Go on, big girl. Go on, big girl. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, if you don't like catching smallmouth, just don't even take up fishing, man. Cause if you if you can't get your old pitter patter going on something like that, I just don't know what's wrong with you. Because I'm telling you, man, it is crazy. It's crazy fun. Throw that jerk bait out there and go don't don't, and it goes whew, off to the races. <laughs> this is another big one, I believe. Shoo we. Yep. 
on him on the stinger hook. Do I? No, I got him on both. We had beat that in there with a, a jerk bait, rattle trap, and everything else. Couldn't get nothing going. Picked up that swim bait first time through there. They're still piled in there. Still piled in there. Good, solid, healthy fish. Hit pretty good, though. I take him. It's been small compared to what we've been catching. Nathan, anyway, that's bad form. You broke the ice, so it's been a while, man. It's been hours since we had one on. I think. I had a better one, but ain't. There's still a few in there. I'm good. I'm so good. At least they're good. You got that swim bait hook right now. Yeah. Quacking that thing. All good fish. Healthy fish. About a three. There's miniatures compared to what we've been catching. Got him cockeyed. There he is where he was at. Right there between <laughs> front of that same bush. In front of the magic bush? Yeah. In front of that same bush. It's a nice one. Hey, none of them have been bad today. Some, no. have, been, some have been better than others. I mean, they're all healthy. I've got a magic bush there. There must be a little pocket of. That's a little wolf pack, but the wolf pack we found earlier was a monster wolf pack. Thank you, Lord. See if we can't get us a, find us another hole with them big in there in a little bit. Well, you can tell it's getting late in the day. Hear the frogs talking to us. We got the ducks and the geese out here and the sun's starting to set down, but man, it's been an awesome day. Hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us, but my poor old mission fish swim bait, man, it's had a rough life. I just had to retire it. It's been chomped on so many times today, it's pitiful. I'll take some good 316 glue and I'll patch that baby up. And next time you see me, maybe we'll be catching some more on it. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. We've got a little bit more time. We're gonna whack a big one. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. In Northeast Tennessee, sizzle of local flavor. Live the heart of its people. Live the adventure at every turn. While you retreat, play, relax. When you visit Kingsport, you live Kingsport. Lightweight power you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. There they are. There they are. Oh, God, something spooked them. Was that a bear ground? No, it was my stomach. I'm hungry. Well, this turkey hunting's way overrated. Let's go down Kearney's and get us some of that roasted chicken they talk about. You know what Mike says? Seven days without chicken makes one week. Let's go. Hey, let's go. I'm all for that. You want a good home cooked meal? Come to Lynn Garden Restaurant in Kingsport. You won't be disappointed. And here's the proof. Yeah.
pay 3B fans. Check out our new website at 3boutdoors.com where you can stay in touch with social media feeds, learn more about the crew, view all past episodes and bonus footage, plus the much anticipated online store where you can purchase quality 3B Outdoors gear. Yeah, it's a good one. Come here, boy. He liked that mason fish, didn't he? That's a good one. Too bad we couldn't find a big fish or two today, Aunt Nathan. Yeah. That's a good old big one. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. <laughs> yeah. Look at what a tail. Them tails on them fish. Mission fish is rule today, isn't it? I like it. Boom. Awesome. Hey. I mean, he's a toad, son. Look, he's going to the. What I told you when I come up there, there's going to be anywhere. They're going to be right there on another big one. They're going to be right there on them stumps. Oh my goodness, that's a good one, Nathan. Hey, big one. Oh, look at that, buddy. Come here, boy, come on, come on. Easy now, easy now, easy now. <laughs> oh man, do we call it, another wolf pack. <laughs> Another wolf pack, look here. 316 in the face, baby. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Two and two cast. My turn. No. Reflect back about <laughs> Oh, no, look at him. What's he got me? Is he tangled up in something? It's either that or sticker. He's on there and... What's the deal? You got a stick on there, but have you got a fish too? I don't know, man. I know he eat it. Yeah, I see the fish. Yeah, the fish is on there. What's he done? What? Oh. What is the deal? Has he rolled up in that thing? Is that a musk? What the Lord, look at that. That's a smallie. What is the deal? I don't know what to do with him. Look what a, look at that. Look at that. Oh, he's rolled up in that thing. Look at that. Golly. Oh, easy, 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 come to life. Oh, gosh. Another full of pounder. <laughs> Maybe five. Gosh. <laughs> uh, tell me. <laughs> Look at that baby there. Look how long that thing is. I don't know. I thought he rolled up in a log or something. My goodness. Look at the belly on that fish. Beautiful fish. You don't catch them like this every day. I don't care where you live. We've been up here on Mystery Lake. Water temperature started us this morning, 48 degrees. Got up to 52 or 53. And wherever you find one, we found several of them. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, fish. He was glad to get back over on that point. I mean, it's just, it's, it's unreal. They're staging the spawn. It's just nothing like it. Might not ever have a day like this again. I'm telling you, it's just that, that extraordinary. Have you, you got think? one more big one in you? Well, I was gonna ask you the question, but I think you're pretty well done with you. <laughs> <laughs> I backlashed every real life <laughs> Oh Lord, it's fun. Right there he was. Got a little whacker. I don't think that's a big one, but I think I got another big one in me. I was catch about a six. You know what I mean? A six. Just then, top it all off. Just top it off with six and then. Is that him? Yeah, I don't think it's a six. No, but I'll take him. That's a male up here. We're wanting the females, I guess. They're still hitting though. We caught the heck out of fish and we swing three pounders up in the boat. And four pounders and five pounders have been absolutely, and I don't know how many times we've been torqued. And 
didn't get them in, they just come off. So we'll just keep on chunking. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Luminoc, the original self-contained lighted knock on the market, patented to accept replaceable lithium batteries and designed to work with all carbon arrow shafts while producing the brightest results during any condition. Easily the most durable illuminated knocks to allow up to 40 hours of continuous use and are packaged and crafted to perfection for hundreds of shots. There's only one true Luminoc. Luminoc by Burt Coyote, made in the USA. Hey 3B fans, check out our new website at 3boutdoors.com where you can stay in touch with social media feeds, learn more about the crew, view all past episodes and bonus footage, plus the much anticipated online store where you can purchase quality 3B Outdoors gear. You Woo! don't wanna miss the biggest outdoor expo in Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia. Presented by 3B Outdoors, January 6th through the 8th at Meadowview Conference Resort and Convention Center in Kingsport. Cool. have a story to tell, an exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes, a genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. I know that some of you really get upset with us because we don't tell you where Mystery Lake is. Well, one reason is it's so small and just can't take a lot of public pressure. What we want to encourage you to do is find the Mystery Lakes in your area. They're in almost every state and they're full of fish and they get very little pressure. So seek out some maps and check them out, state parks and different places, and man, you can have some great days on the water like Barry and I did. But it's not always about the fishing. Barry had just recently gotten out of the hospital with a mild heart attack by heart attack standards but when it's your heart it's always serious so a day on the water with good friends don't ever take them for granted because they can be gone in a heartbeat I'm Nathan Light thanks for watching 3B Outdoors where we always bring you quality hunting and fishing we wake up in the morning